It's what any rev head dreams of getting for Christmas. 16 metres, nine tonnes of supercar. And if Roscoe McGlashan has anything to do with it, this rocket car will take him faster across the earth than anyone in history. Twice the speed of a jumbo jet, quicker than a 357 Magnum bullet. We're doing 440 metres a second at, at, at maximum so speed. So you're, you're just holding on. Exactly. You, yeah. you yeah. haven't got a lot to do, have you? No, anyway. well, yeah, I hope not. <laughs> and this time, Roscoe can truly call himself the rocket man. His Aussie invader that set an Australian land speed record of 500 miles an hour 17 years ago was jet powered. But this one really does have a rocket, the kind that puts satellites into orbit. The kind Roscoe reckons will teach humanity new things about the science of speed. You're strapped to a bullet, basically. Yeah, ba you? yeah that's it. Yeah, basically, yeah, a big bullet. Yeah. yeah. The aim, blast through the sound barrier with all the dangers of a shockwave at ground level, then smash through 1,000 miles an hour. That's 1,600 k's. The last thing you want driving a car like this is reflexes because by the time you hit a bump and you think about, think about yeah. countering for that, that's a mile behind you. So much is unknown about going this fast that engineering students from Curtin University are using one of the world's most powerful supercomputers here at Murdoch University to work out what might happen. Try to help him understand what's happening aerodynamically with the car and whether or not a particular design choice is a good decision. You know, you put four wheels on a piece of pipe and a sharp end and a rocket and, you know, I think it's going to work. Aussie Invader 5R should be good to go in 2013. What do you reckon you'll feel like when the uh, you know, day comes when you've got to give it a bill? Well, I can't say it on TV, but I'll tell you, I'll have, to, I'll have some spare jocks handy. Reese Whitby, 7 News.